show. What's up, dude? <laughs> <laughs> America, fuck yeah! <laughs> what a difference a day makes. Wow. So last night I'm on here, and I'm talking about the tragic bombings at uh, uh, at the Boston Marathon, which were just horrific. And you know, forgetting about the three people that died, there's 170 people injured from those bombings. 30 people plus have like ex like limbs like literally blown off you know I mean this is a very serious attack and they had finally come out with a couple of guys they had posted pictures up and sure enough last night while I'm shooting the video there's a shooting over in Cambridge at, at uh, near the MIT campus and an MIT police officer oh, terrible news he's 26 years old is murdered in cold blood by these two bastards. Shut up his car and kill him. 26 years old. Just uh, that is so incredibly young. And uh, so a chase ensues, a firefight ensues. Like over 200 rounds of ammunition is fired in this shootout. The older brother is killed um, or certainly gravely wounded. And uh, they're like throwing pipe bombs out the window. I mean, this is like a this is what crazy night. This is all going on while I'm making my video. Going, I hope they catch those guys. <laughs> no, it just goes to show you know it, it was crazy. So I had heard about the MIT shooting, but you know the shootings all the time. You know, in America, uh, there's a roughly 80 gun deaths a day, about half from suicide and about half from uh, murder. Uh, so, um, or accident. And, uh, so, you know, a shooting isn't uh, huge news, sadly enough. But, uh, you know, the, the, a shooting with these two guys, and they're really kids. I think one of them's 26, the other one's 19. So the 26-year-old, the older brother, he gets gravely wounded. The younger brother actually runs him over. You know, probably accidentally as he's trying to flee the scene. And they think he might have been wearing some sort of a device around his waist because they said he had all kinds of crazy shrapnel trauma. So who knows what the hell's going on. You know, the details will come out. But anyway, the older brother's dead. So now it's a manhunt for the younger brother. So today, we wake up. And, uh, you know, I was up pretty early. Probably 7.30 or so. You know, 7, 7.30. Uh, which is odd for a school vacation week, and uh, um, and sure enough, um, it, they you know all this is on the news. It's like oh wow, that MIT shooting really was connected to this. You know, it's just this crazy scene, and uh, they they wind up they're on this like lockdown. They have this I forget what they were calling it, but it was basically like stay at home. They shut. We have a, our mass transit system is called the T, the MBTA, we call it the T for short. Uh, that was completely shut off. And um, every, everybody was remaining inside. So they're showing photos during the day of like downtown crossing, empty. I mean, I have been in living in the Boston area, actually lived in Boston for the first, you know, uh, several you, you know, I don't know first dozen years of my life or more and uh, and then like literally like a half a mile over the edge of town for like the next 20 years so it's like I, you know and now I live about I don't know uh, maybe five miles from the city limits and uh, so uh, Sure enough, uh, we see all this, you know, going down, and I have never seen, like, downtown crossing, like, completely empty. You know, that's like a, a very big shopping district. And they're showing Kenmore Square completely empty. 
Yeah, I mean, it's like straight out of Omega Man. And, uh, 20, out of 28 days. <laughs> so, you know, that the, the amount of police on the scene in Watertown and, like, out in that western... I'm a little bit more southwestern. I'm down, like, the Route 1 corridor. Whereas this was, like, west. This is, like, you know, the Pike. Like, directly west of the city. So, um... They think they have them in... All these photos are coming out and it's just, just pandemonium. And they finally sort of come out and say like we're not really sure if we've if we've got him he looked like he had slipped and then right around seven o'clock boom whole bunch more gunfire and I think someone noticed that there was either <laughs> it's a kind of conflicting stories that there was a boat wrapped up in a guy's backyard and they either found like blood on the boat or a ladder next to the boat something like that one source said it was a ladder and the ladder wasn't there earlier another source said that they just noticed blood because this kid had been shot, 19 years old, had been shot. So they converge on that. They literally throw in like a canister and a shock canister to blow the roof off the thing. They've got choppers. They've got, I mean, the police response and had to be, you know, well over, you know, 500 police officers on the scene uh, you could not believe the response on this and uh, and sure enough they get him you know I think a lot of people wanted him you know sort of executed on the scene but a lot of people were like get him and, and get information out of him you know why why kill you know what what happened how this all sort of transpired die with them maybe there's a, like a larger plot who knows what's going on and they're like get him alive and they the authorities said they wanted him alive so um they got him they got him alive and they 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 finally got him arrested and got him in, into custody and they had to whisk him over to a hospital he was in grave shape so uh they'll get him They'll get him going again so they can kill him later <laughs> because uh, this is going to be federal charges. There's no death penalty in Massachusetts, uh, but he's going to be up on federal charges. This is not going to be uh, state charges. Uh, this is going to be federal, if I had to guess, um, without a doubt. This is going to be, they're probably going to treat him as a terrorist. Um, it's, it's such a mass, you know... Um, you know, uh, it, it affected so many people with such uh, not mass murder, but really mass mayhem. Right? That, that's what that's what they call when you you have like a limb blown off. That's you know that's called mayhem. So, um, and there is the death penalty on a federal level in the United States. Now, I used to be really against the death penalty, but uh, I think what you sort of flipped my uh, thinking on it a little bit is uh, the Richard Speck case because that guy basically killed a bunch of women and wound up uh, you know uh, they, they didn't have the death penalty and he lived like this luxurious life in prison you know doing drugs and, and just hanging out and later on they found videotapes of him getting away with all the stuff in there and it was just you know it, it's not right and I think later on I, I just felt like if it, the, the problem with the death penalty is is that uh, if you make a mistake, there's there's no going back. So it's got to be where it's absolutely unquestionable. And I think they have that, that that evidence in this case. I mean, they went to their house and they found pressure cookers and all types of bomb making materials, and you know, and they. I mean, there's there's literally a. a, a, a pretty good chain of uh, evidence in this case. So I think that it's, you know, um, it's the type of case that is absolutely ripe um, for the death penalty, and uh, I I wouldn't doubt if that... Now, they may plea bargain this down in exchange for information. That I wouldn't doubt either. Um, and if he goes to prison, he'll go to a federal prison, which in the United States is not a bad prison actually 
uh, state prisons are much worse. If he was going to state prison and he was in Massachusetts, they'd be sending him up to, they call it Cedar Junction, but what's formerly known as Walpole. It's not too far from where I live. It's probably three miles, maybe four miles from where I live. And uh, that's uh, not a nice place to be. That's You, you know, if you're in there, um, you're, you're in a pretty bad place. So it's, it's probably the you know that and what's the other big one Concord right those are the two big state prisons maybe there's one out west that I don't know about but uh, really the two big ones are Walpole and Concord and uh, and Walpole is known I mean there's been a few prisoners that were just killed right in prison and you know it's it's pretty it's a pretty bad place to go uh, you don't want to be you know, sent out to, to, to Walpole and uh, but he will most likely will go on federal charges and spend his life in a federal prison. So, uh, if they don't get the death penalty on him. Which, you know, I think the case is ripe for it. Uh, especially where a cop was killed. You know, 26 years old. The oldest person to die in this situation, in this, all this craziness all week. 29 years old. The youngest eight years old. If that's not a death penalty case, I don't know what is. And I don't like to get into politics. This is a guitar site. I'm not getting into that. But this has just been a bizarre 24 hours here in the last uh, day. And uh, I've been getting like a boatload of you know, private messages and a lot of comments and you know, I, I appreciate all the outpouring of concern. But uh, I'm about um, 10 miles from their, from their position, I'm a good 8 to 10 miles southwest. So, uh, I'm not really, I wasn't really in the zone there. Even though we, we still got sort of stuck in the house all day, uh, we didn't really want to go anywhere. My wife walked down to take the tea, and then she got down there, and they're like, no, we're, they've turned off mass transportation because they don't want to aid these guys, and they don't want a hostage situation. And then they canceled the basketball game, they canceled the hockey game, they canceled the baseball game. Uh, they, you know, they, they just, it's just crazy. I mean, I, I cannot remember the last time anything like that has happened. So, um, so, literally from last night's video to tonight's video, and it's about, what time is it? Probably after 1 o'clock. It's got to be like 1.30. So it's 1.30 a.m. Um, so from yesterday to today, in the past just about 24, maybe 25 hours since I have done that last video, uh, one suspect dead, one suspect in custody, and it was the most surreal day that I can ever remember, uh, here in, in the city, and, um, you know, my hat's off to the, to the, to the detective work and to the, the FBI, they even had the Secret Service in on this one. They wanted this guy. They weren't letting him out. And uh, so the older one, I think, was 20, 25 or 26, the older brother. He's dead. And the younger brother, 19, in custody. And, and you know, let the judicial system work its way uh, through. But um, the it seem, what seems to be a mountain of evidence against him... <laughs> including being riddled with bullets from police officers. So uh, I think he knew he had to, he, he, was, he wasn't he was going to make it if he didn't turn himself in. And sometimes people go out like that, you know, it, not out of the realm of possibilities. A lot of people thought he was wearing a suicide uh, bomb vest and he was going to, you know, just wait till people got close to him and then, you know, give himself up, wait till people got close and then just detonate it and, and just, you know, never be taken alive. But apparently he had a different uh, change, you know, he had a change of heart. And, um, you know, you could almost see in that case where the older brother may have been really influencing. 19, you're still pretty young and stupid, <laughs> right? By 26, you're a little bit more savvy. But uh, at 19, you're very easily influenced. And uh, it was a... Um, you know, it's it's a sad situation because, you know, maybe he would not have been involved in this. They really say the older brother was really the meaner one, and the younger brother was a little bit more assimilated, you know, into, uh, and I think they're Chechnyan, right? They're uh, or Russian, and they're near Chechnya. You know, again, there's all kinds of crazy reports. This will all come out in the next few days, but uh, wow, what a crazy day here. So, anyway... <laughs> 
I just wanted to come on here and do a very quick video, even though I've probably just rambled for 20 minutes, and uh, and just say that uh, you know I'm fine, the family's fine, my whole neighborhood's fine. Um, we sadly did lose another uh, uh, this person in this whole craziness. That very young police officer from MIT. My heart just goes out to his family um, and all his colleagues. Uh, 26 years old. Yeah, that is just incredibly young. He had dozens of years ahead of him and uh, sadly was uh, cut down in his prime. And, uh, and there was another police officer shot who was in critical condition. I guess he's been upgraded to serious and he's been all through surgery and uh, he apparently looks to be most likely able to survive it but again that gets into medical stuff and they, they don't want to release that material so anyway wanted to follow that up I'm sure you've seen it on TV if you live in the States it's been not at least around here it has been non-stop coverage um, they have pretty much you know uh, taken over the the um, all the major stations in fact <laughs> This goes to show you, uh, and I'll wrap. I'll finish up on this. When I went to go drop my son off at a play date over at a friend's house uh, across town, um, late this afternoon, um, like I said, we're a good ten miles away, so they were confident he wasn't in our area, and uh, it, it, a lot of the radio stations had preempted, like they weren't playing music, they were playing whatever feed their parent station owned so some of the stations were like CBS affiliates or NBC affiliates or ABC affiliates they're sort of under the same umbrella and you'd never know it but apparently they had some some tie in with them somehow owned by a parent company that also was a tied in with that and they were, they were just running feeds and so you like I'm trying to go through it and put a music on as we drive over there and you know it's just non-stop coverage so it was huge story in our area and uh, this is the this is some of the craziest I've seen really since 9-11 in terms of coverage um, that's really the last thing I've seen this big now granted it's in my area so that's probably why uh, it got so much coverage but anyway just uh, was thinking of uh, the uh, America song you know <laughs> <laughs> but come on, give you a little update, tell you everything's okay, and I'll see you early next week, and rock on.